demand the extradition of Kirk. We demand justice. Klingon justice is a unique point of view, Mr. President. Sorry. We have the right to preserve our race. You have the right to commit murder. Silence. Silence! We no further outbursts from the floor. The Council's deliberations are over. And Kirk goes unpunished? Admiral Kirk has been charged with nine violations of Starfleet regulations. The status report, Admiral. Not good, Mr. President. It's using forms All of energy our best scientists do not understand. Given Can you protect us? We're launching everything we have. Support reserves. Mr. President, even with planetary reserves, we cannot survive without the sun. I'm well aware of that, Admiral. There seems to be no way we can answer this probe. It's difficult to answer when one does not understand the question. Do not approach Earth. The transmissions of an orbiting probe are causing critical damage to this planet. It has almost totally ionized our atmosphere. Save your energy. Save yourselves. Avoid the planet Earth at all costs. Farewell. Mr. President, we have power. The Council is now in session. You all take your seats. Bring in the accused, Captain Spock. You do not stand accused. Mr. President, I stand with my shipmates. As you wish. Because of certain mitigating circumstances, all charges but one are summarily dismissed. I'm sure the Admiral will recognize the necessity of keeping discipline in any chain of command? I do, sir. And that as a consequence of your new rank, be given the duties for which you have repeatedly demonstrated unswerving ability. The command of a starship. You and your crew have saved this planet from its own short-sightedness. And we are forever in your debt. I have ordered a full-scale investigation. In the meantime... In the meantime... We expect the Federation to abide by the Articles of Interstellar Law, which you claim to cherish. I'm waiting for your answer, sir. This president is not above the law. We cannot allow Federation citizens to be abducted. Yes, Admiral, but I'm constrained to observe interstellar law. Sir, would you please take a look at this? Colonel West? Technology to... Yes, yes. But suppose you precipitate a full-scale war. Then, quite frankly, Mr. President, we can clean their chronometers. Those men have literally saved this planet. Yes, Bill, I know that. And now they're going to save it again. By standing trial. I've never been able to forgive them for the death of my boy. The United Federation of Planets welcomes you to Camp Kidder. Let us redefine progress to mean that just because we can do a thing, it does not necessarily follow that we must do that thing. President! President! Mr. President! Kirk, Enterprise. What's the meaning of all of this? It's about the future, Madam Chancellor. Some people think the future means the end of history. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Captain Sisko. Captain, I've seen your record. Most exemplary. Thank you, sir. Blood screenings, phaser sweeps. They've proven very effective on Deep Space Nine. I'm sure they have. But I hope you'll keep in mind that this is Earth and not a military installation. Cautions may be advisable, but I will not disrupt the lives of the population. Forgive the intrusion, Mr. President, but as you can see, Starfleet has every right to be concerned. A very effective entrance, Mr. Odo. One that never should have been allowed to take place. It took centuries for Earth to evolve into the peaceful haven it is today. 
I would hate to be remembered as the Federation president who destroyed paradise. And Jara Shinyo would be a fine president in peacetime, but we have a war on our hands. And he doesn't seem to understand that. I'm not interested in excuses. It is imperative we get the power relay system functioning again. With the exception of the Borg incident, there hasn't been a state of emergency declared on Earth in a century. I am aware of that. I can start getting men on the streets immediately. What you're asking me to do is declare martial law. What I'm asking you to do is let us defend this planet. I was content to simply represent my people on the Federation Council. When they asked me to submit my name for election, I almost said no. Do what needs to be done. Thank you, sir. You've made the right decision. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Starfleet would plot to overthrow the Federation government is the single most astonishing accusation I have ever heard. Sir, if you'll hear us out. As I intend to. But you'll forgive me if I remain somewhat skeptical. They sabotaged the global power grid. Starfleet officers committing sabotage. I know exactly how you feel, but it's the truth. I find that difficult to believe. You think he would refuse a direct order from his commander-in-chief? If he orders his troops to stand down, then I'm wrong and I'll offer my resignation. I try to remove those troops over Leighton's objection, I'll have a planet-wide riot on my hands. If what you say is true, I'll have his resignation. Bring me the evidence, I promise I'll use it. Admiral, I didn't expect to see you here. By now, Odo is talking to Jarus in you. The president will have all the evidence he needs to stop you. The treaty is not just for our advantage, but for yours as well. A toast. To our combined forces and the salvation of all our worlds. Treaty signing will take place in Dalakos in one week. Dalakos? On Krill? President Alcuzan has been invited, along with Senator Balasque and myself. Captain Mercer, so good to finally meet you. The privilege is all mine, Mr. President. <laughs> well, I appreciate the honor guard, but uh, you didn't have to go to the trouble. It's no trouble, sir. Night falls fast. Today is in the past. What is that, sir? It's from a poem. This is truly an historic occasion. Your gracious invitation honors us, Chancellor. Please, join us for some cuspid cider. A krill delicacy. If I may propose a toast, Chancellor, to the treaty. And to the future. We are observers here. You have no right to detain us. Mr. Professor, are you all right? Oh, no. Take them. You've got the president of the Planetary Union in here. Do you want to be held responsible for starting a war? How about a cup of coffee? Trust me, Mr. President, I'm much better looking in person. You're welcome sight to me, Doctor. Everybody hang on. I'm pleased to report that President Alcazan is going to make a full recovery. He plans to address the Union Council later today. Based on Havina's testimony and the physical evidence provided by the Orville's Chief of Security, this council believes there is sufficient basis to begin a formal investigation. We have every intention of addressing Havina's actions, but at the moment our priority is the safe return of the missing child and her guardians. We have no intention of cooperating with this fraudulent and reckless investigation. The council has made its decision. If you choose to accept joint ratification of an alliance, we are prepared to offer Kalon a provisional seat on the Union Council. If you behave in good faith, and if the Council sees fit, you may be offered full membership into the Union, should you so desire it. We accept your terms. Son of famed warp specialist Henry Archer, 
Jonathan was appointed captain of Starfleet's first Warp 5 ship. 